I've spent 25 years trying to be a faithful servant to truth and to the public's right to know. And over the course of my career, that's, that's come at some cost. I've had to go to court to protect my confidential sources. Those people come from a community that has been profoundly betrayed by an institution. If I had lost that court case, I risked going to prison. And the worst part about it was it all happened in secret. Open graves and kids' bodies getting thrown in there, to children dying at your feet, to the look in the eyes of the mother as the children are dying at your feet. So those things have a price, there's no doubt about that. One of the richest people in the country, Gina Reinhardt, wanting my contacts, and I refused to give them up. I would have been in contempt of court and had to go to prison. The people who protect those dark places don't welcome the light. Um, and very often that puts a target on journalists' backs. The bullet that went through our bedroom window missed my wife's head, my head, by just centimetres. I was kidnapped by the Islamic State and then I was taken behind a building to what was to be the site of my beheading. They'd hastily put a banner on a wall and they were going to film my execution with the camera that they'd ripped from my hands. This is what journalists have paid to give the vulnerable a voice and to hold those in power to account. So what price would you pay?